In 1977, Spohn began working as a freelancer for Atari through the Palo, pardon me, Palo Alto based agency, Stephen Jacobs Design. And then, next paragraph, eventually on his own. The work was more of what I wanted to do, and Steve Art directed me a little bit, Spoon said. After the initial creation of artwork for Air, Sea Battle, and Combat, Spoon went on to create the art for many of the other initial 2600 launch titles, and nearly 20 other games, defining the illustration style for Atari's home consoles. Fellow illustrator Steve Hendricks explained about Spoon. He was an icon around here. He came up with the look. Our task was to emulate what Cliff was doing, and Cliff was amenable to giving us trade secrets. But the way he did it was the way Atari packag packaging needed to look. Spoon's work stands out not just for its quality craft and execution, but also for its strong design sense. Powerful compositions and effective use of montage allowed his work to transcend Flatland into three dimensions. To me, designing is standing on one foot, he mused. I always want to keep the viewer off balance, moving with asymmetrical imagery on the edge. He described the technique on his Atari work as anti-painting, where it's really the opposite of painting, because you lay in a wash, then use a bristled brush to pull off some of the color, then spray fix it so you don't pull off all the paint. But in the end, it's all about the composition, and that's the way I've always approached everything. A little spit on my screen there. Spoon was heavily influenced by illustrator David Grove, but his work also referenced paperback book covers and album art. He worked as a freelance commercial illustrator, even creating art for another tech startup. The brainchild of former Atari employee, Steve Jobs. That company, of course, was Apple Computer. Spohn illustrated two of the company's early manuals. And Jobs loved the artist's work. He even had Spohn's original art hanging in his office. For his part, Jobs tried to lure Spohn away from his freelance work for Atari to a full-time position at Apple, including stock options. But Spohn turned down the offer, doubtful about the future of the fledgling computer company. Don't know if that was such a good idea, Cliff. Moving on. Atari art director and illustrator James Kelly praised Spohn. He was a fabulous illustrator and had a nice, relaxed, editorial way of coming up with images. I saw his work on TV Guide and Time Magazine covers. Really notable places where you'd see the country's top illustrators. Spohn eventually moved on from Atari as the company brought more and more of its illustration work in-house. With no shortage of clients, Spohn continued on for decades as a freelance illustrator for a variety of companies, including Delta, Coca-Cola, Starbucks, NFL, and many others. His current personal work delves more deeply into abstract expressionism. This is on page 71. 